gift and nothing would be the same without you because there yeah that's my phone <laughs> topic on confidence. I've been getting a ton of questions on my Twitter, t um, Tumblr, Instagram, and YouTube on how to become more confident. So today I have five steps and I would love to share them with you guys. And if you guys like this video and want more videos like this, be sure to comment down below and like this video because I love talking about stuff like this. So yeah, let's just get started because I know this video is going to be very long. But before I get started, I want to mention that um, these glasses, I do not wear glasses. I want to wear glasses, so I ordered these off of Urban Outfitters, and they have no um, prescription in them, but I wanted to wear them in a cute video series. But it gives a glare, so I'm going to put them on my head. I wish I didn't have perfect vision because I want glasses. Is that weird? Is that weird? Like, I know a lot of people who don't wear braces want braces because they think they're cute or something. I don't know. Um, I wish I never wore braces, but yeah. Number one would be to stop comparing yourself to others and stay focused on yourself. And this is a really big one. Comparing yourself to others is the worst thing that ever do to yourself. And I know a lot of, a lot of people do this in the middle school. Middle school is the worst years for me because I feel like I couldn't be my own self. I feel like I had to dress like everyone. I had to get Uggs because everyone had Uggs, you know? Um, I had to be just like the person next to me or I wasn't good enough, you know? And that is the worst mindset to have on anything. So thank God I'm out of middle school. Thank God I'm a junior in high school and I'm past that stage because that was a horrible stage and I felt like I wasn't cool if I didn't have the hottest new thing like Uggs or um, um, Abercrombie sweatshirts, you know? I'm glad that phased out too because that's horrible. <laughs> so yeah, that's number one. Just kind of Stop comparing yourself to others and be focused on yourself and loving yourself and if you want to wear something, go ahead and wear it and um, you own that thing, you know? You walk with your head held high and don't put your nose in the air, don't be more cocky about it, don't be like, I'm wearing something adorable and you're not, but be like, I like what I'm wearing and if you don't like it, then who cares? Like, I do not care what you think and that's a really important step on staying more confident is really not caring what other people think of you. Even if it's the worst thing ever they could think of you, if you love yourself and if you love that that is you, then you should not care what they think of you because, um, you know what, after middle school is high school and after high school, you really never see those people ever again and unless you, obviously you're going to see your close friends again, but if you like go off to college to like a whole new state, most chances are you start over brand new and that's the best time in your life. I've heard through high school you really realize who you want to become and like who you are you know and um, most people who go out of high school love themselves and like are really confident in themselves because um, middle school and high school is a f age of finding yourself and um, really just like loving yourself you know being the person you want to be so yeah number two is to relax kind of just go with the flow and don't stress on the little things like of course okay maybe you just got a C on your chemistry test you know what you can get an A plus next time if you try harder um, stay positive be optimistic um, your friend can't go to the lake house with you this weekend it's okay you can bring another friend it's okay they can go with you next weekend or something like if you stress on every little thing I just got to be an assignment oh my gosh I hate myself I hate myself that is not gonna make you more confident and um, I know someone aka myself who's confident confident in her schoolwork even though she does not get the best grades like I know firsthand I do not have the best grades known to man but I try my hardest and that's why I'm confident with my grades even if um, they're not a hundred percent on everything and that is really important as well in staying confident is just you know going with the flow and if you overstress on the little things you're just gonna build up that stress into your big ball of stress and you just explode one day and it will just keep happening like that and you explode and then oh my god that is the worst 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 step number three is to just love yourself and I know I said this before but um, just love yourself and know that you are a gift and nothing would be the same without you because 
there, yeah, that's my phone. <laughs> because nothing would be the same without you, and um, that is a really cool kind of thing to think about. It's like, if you were not here right now, nothing in the world would be the same. Like, that is so weird, like, um, to think about in general, but you are a gift. You are meant to be different, and um, everyone looks different because they should look different. No two people really look the exact same unless they're identical twins or, um, you know, there's supposed to be someone who looks exactly like you in the world but even if you guys look alike you guys aren't the same people you know everyone is meant to be their their own person because that is why they are put on this world to um, just be yourself and and loving for yourself who you are is the most important thing in the world because if you just hate yourself and point out every single insecurity that you ever have and um, just keep building your insecurities you're not gonna get anywhere if you hate everything about yourself then um, you need to change that. If you need to change it to something you love, and a lot of people say, oh, that's hard. It's not hard to change something about yourself. If you hate your style, change it. And people are going to judge you, of course, but even if do people do judge you, at least you love yourself. And that's all that matters. Who cares about what people, other people think of you as long as you, what you think of yourself is what you want to think of yourself and is good and stuff like that. Number four is to be positive and look for the good in every situation, aka be optimistic and that is very important as well. Like I said before, like the example, if she can't go to the lake house with you this weekend, maybe you guys can go next weekend. Like even if it is a horrible, horrible situation, if you think the better in it, then everything will be okay and you'll just kind of learn to accept that even if it's a horrible, horrible thing in your life and you can move on eventually as long as you accept it and for the positive then everything ends up being okay, you know? Number five steps to being confident is to just do what you love and um, no matter what it is, one thing I did when I was in the eighth grade is I started a YouTube channel and I had to be a pretty confident girl to start a YouTube channel. And yes, when I was in the ninth grade, I cried one day because someone found out about my YouTube channel and was like whispering to her other friend and like giggling at me. But that didn't drop me down and make me want to delete my channel, but it brought me up and said, who cares if you don't like what I'm doing, and but I like what I'm doing? You don't matter to me, you know? <laughs> Even that sounds really bad, but it's really true. And if you love what you're doing, really just don't care what other people think because life is too short to just keep caring what other people think and not living the person you want to live. If you do something that you don't love, then you're never going to be confident in it because you're never going to be satisfied with what you are doing and who you are as a person. So yeah, that is my five steps to staying confident and I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> if you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up or a comment down below and um, if you want more videos on like topics like this, just let me know. And I would love to do this because I love talking to you guys even though I ramble on forever and you guys probably hate my talking videos. But yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you guys later. 